you guys marty schwartz here of marty music my brand new project thanks for the support we're gonna dig into some joe walsh style licks kind of based on uh rocky mountain way i think you will dig it we are in open e tuning I've got a playlist below that kind of will lead you up to this point in slide guitar playing you should check it out it's just youtube videos anyway let's dig in i'm gonna get right to the lick so we're in open e which means the progression's in the key of E, it's like a blues in E. It's really D, 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 up to E. And you can play all your classic E blues slide licks there. And when you're in open E tuning, you have this great box on every string. You have the 12th fret and the 10th fret on every string. And so immediately you can mess with that kind of thing. <laughs> Also, when your slide goes across the whole 12th fret, right above the fret, that's the E chord. The other thing is a big technique, which is uh, in more detail in the playlist, but it, the, the lick that I'm going to teach you starts with the thumb on the A string, index on the D string. Every other string is muted, so the low E is muted by my thumb. And when I'm not plucking the A string in this first little bit, it comes down and immediately mutes the A string while my index finger plucks the D string. And so when I'm plucking with my index finger on the D string, all my other fingers are muting the other strings. So I've got, you know, pinky, ring, middle, just kind of tuck down to mute it. And then thumb to mute that. And then I'm I'm you know going between the A and the D string, and whichever one I'm not plucking, I'm muting with the other finger. So we start on the 12th fret of the A string, and I'm going to pluck that with my thumb, and then it Im immediately comes down and mutes it, and then I'm going to pluck the D string with my index. Everything else is muted, and I'm going to go. I'm going to pluck it on the 12th fret and slide it down to the 10th fret. So you get this. Notice how as soon as my finger comes down, everything gets muted, right? So look at the way my thumb and index alternate picking the note and muting. One's picking, one's muting. And so the final time when I'm on the 10th fret of the D, I slowly slide it up to the 12, which is the root. Now something you can practice on any string is plucking the one string you want and trying to mute everything else. If I did that without muting, it would sound like this. Just the other strings get vibrated out. Okay, so back to the lick. 12 on the A to 12 on the D, and then slid down to the 10, and you repeat it like this. And that last one, you slowly slide up to the 12th fret, and then immediately I'm not muting for a minute just so I can get the full chord to ring out like this. And keep in mind, this is part of the playlist that's below, but I'm muting the strings behind it as like just a buffer so you don't hear as much string noise. My middle finger is kind of lightly touching the strings and my index kind of resting there too. It helps control the noise. Much cleaner when you're muting behind it. So now let's get back to the lick. We're going. A and D string alternating between the 12th and the 10th fret. And 
I'm just strumming up. You can use any finger. I'm using my index there. <laughs> Like that. So the next lick sounds like this. And once again, the note, the note that you're not immediately plucking, every other note should be muted by the rest of your hand. So I scoot over here to index on the B string, and it's the 12th fret. Everything else is muted. My thumb is resting down on the top strings. My other fingers are resting on the B, and uh, you know, when I'm not playing the high E, etc. So index on the B string, 12th fret. It's over the, it's right over the 12th fret there. So after I pluck that, it comes down and mutes the B string again. And as soon as the index comes down to mute, my thumb hits the G string on the 12th fret, and slowly, it's not in a, it's not immediate, you want to hear the slide. Like that. So after I slide the 12 to the 10 on the G, I immediately take my right hand up a set of strings and pluck with my thumb from, uh, you know, s immediately slide up to the that root, that 12th fret of the D. And the real art form is muting the other strings that you don't want. So you get those single notes. All right, let's put it all together. So watch my right hand on this one. Then the final lick. This is a nice little, uh, nice little blues kind of thing that a lot of guys do. And all I'm doing is I'm playing the B string. You can start anywhere to you know. I mean, you can start way back, but think of it as like the 10 to the 12 on the B string. Thumb comes down to mute it, and then you're going to hit the 12th fret on the high E like this. Add that vibrato. So I'm kind of thinking of little positions of thumb and index and everything else being muted, right? It's kind of a right hand position. And if you had a pick, it'd be the same thing. You'd be muting with your thumb and your other fingers while you pick. I've just practiced so much with my fingers now. And, you know, Derek Trucks does it that way. And he's, you know, like the best around right now. A lot of good ones. Don't get me wrong. Okay, so the lick. <laughs> And hopefully you can take that and make other licks out of it, you know, practice to an E blues and use some of the some some of these ideas.
so see you again next Friday for another technique-oriented lesson right here at Marty Music. Every Friday, a technique lesson. You can sign my email list. I really appreciate you uh, liking and sharing and subscribing, all that good stuff that supports me. Thank you so much. We'll see you again real soon. Take care.